Now, the world is losing trust in the dollar as a safe haven. A major blow came after Germany's Bundesbank demanded the repatriation of a big chunk of its gold being held in the US because, as Artis Gianichian reports, some are concerned the assets of foreign nations in the Federal Reserve are not secure or even there. Behind these walls is one of the most secretive organizations in the world, the U.S. Federal Reserve. Whoever tries to audit them hits a wall. This place is impenetrable for audits. For years, the U.S. Federal Reserve has been the place where many countries have stored a big chunk of their nation's wealth as the countries weathered different waves of economic crisis, economic instability. The Federal Reserve seems to them like a more or less secure place to keep their funds. But are the funds really secure? Or are they even there? There has been speculation for a long time that the Fed doesn't actually have much gold, that it has either sold it off, lent it out, or used it as collateral for borrowings. Either way, there are many claims that the gold that is being stored on behalf of many nations doesn't actually exist. Germany has recently decided to bring home all its gold, but the Federal Reserve said that it's not possible that it would need until 2020 to be able to accomplish such a transfer. Germany then asked to visit the Fed vaults to make sure that the gold is actually there. But the Fed first refused to permit Germany to exa examine its own gold. Then the Germans apparently insisted and the Fed did open only one of nine rooms, but they were not permitted to either enter or touch the gold. The German government has stored about half of its gold supply with the U.S. Federal Reserve, so they're understandably nervous. This makes not only Germans nervous, of course. U.S. financial institutions have a history of selling things that don't exist. One example, last year Goldman Sachs were proven to have been selling gold certificates to the public, saying that they were backed by real gold in their vaults. But the story leaked out that they, in fact, held no gold at all and were doing so-called fractional reserve gold banking on the basis that few people would want to claim their gold at any one time. And looking further back in history, during World War II, the Fed came to many countries in Asia, Latin America and Africa, and told them their gold holdings might not be safe because of the war and that they should permit the Fed to take all of it to the U.S. for safekeeping. Many countries have done that, receiving Fed gold certificates in exchange. But when they later tried to cash in those certificates and reclaim their gold, they were told the certificates were fake, that they contained spelling and other mistakes, uh, so on and so forth. And the Fed still has all that gold. The power of the U.S. Federal Reserve has grown dramatically, especially since the 1970s, when the U.S cut the link between dollar and, and uh, gold. Uh, that allowed the uh, U.S. dollar to be bought and sold freely on the market. Uh, and with the U.S. dollar being the main reserve currency, the U.S. has basically been able to tax the whole world. It can just devalue other countries' holdings by printing more money. Now we see many countries trying to maneuver away from the U.S. dollar as the main reserve currency. And we see many central banks uh, increasing their own gold reserves. And it seems um, after all these years, the world decided they put too much power in this one building. Well, the Germans were infuriated when the U.S. Federal Reserve didn't even let them examine their own assets properly. Peter Boringer, the founder and chairman of German Pres the German Precious Metal Association, says that's a bad sign. We have pressured Bundesbank a lot. We have sent a lot of questions there and other parties have as well. Uh, we have to know why they are not doing a proper audit, why they're not pressuring their partner central banks, especially the Fed, to do a proper audit. Uh, why, if that's not possible for whatever reason, why they're not repatriating that gold? So uh, there's a lot of reasons and questions unanswered. The US or the Fed is nowadays monetizing between 60 and 80 percent of newly emitted federal debt, federal treasury, treasury bonds. There is basically no um, foreign free market buying uh, for the U.S. dollar treasury debt. And uh, that is bad news. It says something around about the quality of the U.S. dollar as a reserve currency. China and India will probably consume 2,300 tons together of gold this year, which is almost 100 percent of world mining production.